Hello and welcome back to a brand new ChatGPT tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can remove photos that have been created or uploaded on to ChatGPT itself. Now, a few things first. On once you're logged in, your library, you're going to see on the left hand side all of the images once clicked that you've ever generated or created or looked at on ChatGPT. Now, at the moment, there is no dedicated way to actually click on them and to select delete. This is a feature that as of August 2025 is being rolled out. So some of you at the top may see on the three dots delete images as well as show hidden images. If you see delete images there, then you're in luck, you've got the beta early and you can delete whatever images you like. It may also pop up right here where once you click on the image, you can say, uh, you know, delete image or whatever that may be. Another workaround if you don't currently have that feature, if you haven't got the new beta, is actually via deleting the entire chat where you made that photo. If you delete the entire chat on the left hand side, then that photo will be gone forever. So what you need to do is find that chat go to the three dots and then select delete. If you delete that chat, it will then disappear forever along with the image as ChatGPT has told me in the past. And now this is exactly what ChatGPT it says uh, about deleting photos on the actual chatbot itself. There isn't a direct delete option for images in the library. It's more of a history. So you can hover over the image, look for three dots and click remove from view. This is slowly rolling out. Or if that isn't there, a workaround is to clear your entire chat history or disable history entirely in settings under data controls and that prevents images from saving going forward. So then to, de to do essentially to do that and delete uh, the entire disable history, then you go over to in the bottom left hand corner, your account settings, data controls, and there you can see delete all chats. And thus, if you were going to do that, you could actually delete all of that data in the past. So I hope this helps you out. I hope this is somewhat useful to everybody as well.